So once you get to the point where you have your mini course built, how do you actually launch it? This is where a lot of people mess up because if you put in all the work that it takes to build a course, do the research, find out what people actually want, build out the framework for the course, outline it, film the lessons, upload the lessons, load it all into Kajabi, set it all up. That takes a lot of effort and a lot of work. And if you do all that, you don't do that just for the fun of it. You actually want to make money. And most of your money, at least initially, comes from a good solid launch plan. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what goes into launching your mini course, how to make sure that not only are your people ready for it, but they are primed to buy it. For that stick around, my name is Lane. I love to help people replace their nine to five income with a thriving online business without hustle, grind, or having to build a large social media following. If you're into that kind of thing, subscribe and like the video, I don't ask enough, and I'm asking you, if you've ever been helped by me, like the video. Here's what we're gonna talk about today. There are three steps that it takes. Number one is a great sales page. We're actually talking about that tomorrow in day 21. What am I talking about? Well, this is day 20 of your first 30 days on Kajabi. If you're just joining us, there's a lot of days that we've covered so far, and there's a few days left, but I'm walking through exactly what to do the first 30 days that you're on Kajabi. If you haven't jumped onto Kajabi yet, by all means, use my link, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. You get 30 days for free, which is an extended free trial. That's more than double what you get if you go straight to Kajabi. I get you double what they give you, 30 days, and you get my three exclusive bonuses. You get a course, you get a masterclass, that's exclusive. You get a launch template. By the way, that launch template would be really a great compliment to the video that you're watching watching right now. So join Kajabi, get all those bonuses, get the free trial, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. It's all there for you. The sales page is coming tomorrow. I want to work. I want to focus in this video on the, on the other two steps. Number one is a really good pre-launch plan. And number two is launch week, what you do in those things. So prior to launching your course, you want to have a really good pre-launch plan. Think of this like, when a movie is about to release, let's say you're a production studio, you put all this work into making a movie, you don't just automatically just throw it out there and put it in the theaters and hope people show up. No, you do a months long campaign of releasing the trailer and putting all your the main actors out to the late night shows and running ads and you do all this so that on opening day, people have bought tickets and they're showing up to the movie. Think about that, but condense it, okay? Because we don't have months. We're trying to do this fast. So how can you get people aware that something is coming, build some anticipation, and get them thinking along the lines of, oh yeah, I, I need that. So what I like to do with pre-launch is I like to take a step back from the problem that my course solves, and I like to ask myself, what would be something that would lead people up to that point and, and leave them kind of wanting more, leave them asking for more. So think of this as content that happens before launch week that brings people to the point of wanting something more and then your course is that more. Your, your course is the thing that ends up solving that want for more stuff. I've done a lot of things as the pre-launch material. I have done a workshop. This works really well. Think of it like you could either do like a pre-recorded workshop. I've done this where it's like three parts in a workshop where I release one every two days or one every day for three days or for a week. And I let people know, hey, there's a workshop. You can set all this up inside Kajabi. It's super easy. It's nice to be able to say you have to register for the workshop, go, and the workshop kind of builds on itself. There's like a three-part collection of content that builds up. And then on the last one, you say, hey, tomorrow I've got something really cool. I'm gonna open up the doors to my course. You could do this with a live webinar. I've done this as well. This is really, really great because you get everybody to the live webinar. You teach some content that's really, really good and helpful. And then on that webinar is when you actually make the announcement that your course is opening up and you give a steep discount or some kind of incentive to those people that are on the webinar 
to buy live right then and there. And it could be just as simple as an email campaign leading up to launch day where you're adding value and teasing that something else is coming. By the way, in this playlist, I show exactly how I did a live webinar that sold a course. It was actually a live cohort style course, but it'll show you exactly what we're talking about. So if you wanna know kind of how all this looks in very great detail mapped out on Kajabi, watch that playlist. But essentially the pre-launch is there to prime the pump so that you're not just springing it on people. That's really what you wanna think of is answer the question, what do people need to feel? What do they need to know? in order to be ready when this course comes out. And, and believe me, I have made this mistake before where I have been so excited about the course that I've built that I thought, no, 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 they don't have to be ready. This is just so good, they're gonna want it. They're gonna want it because I built it, because I did the research, I put it together. All I gotta do is tell them that it's here and they're gonna be like, yes! And the, you have to bring them to that point every time. And you can't just expect that because you built it, they they won it. You you have to you have to get them excited, get them uh, almost like peak curiosity, build some tension, and then release the course on them, and it's amazing. So pre-launch is the first thing. Now let's talk about launch week. Let's say that you do everything that you're supposed to do with pre-launch. You pick one of those things. You do a live webinar, or you do like a three-part pre-recorded workshop or you do an email campaign, or just keeping it very simple, you do like a little bit more content the week before. If normally you do one main video, let's say that week you do two main videos, and in those videos you're really, really focusing on teaching the thing before the thing. You do all that, right? So people are very excited, and then launch week happens. What do you do? What I like to do on launch week is set an amount of time Five days is a really good amount of time for launch week. I've done seven, I've done 10, I've done five. It, you know, it doesn't really matter, but especially for your first launch, shorter is a little easier. Shorter helps you kind of manage things better. So I like to think of like a Monday through a Friday. So Monday morning, I open the doors and I send out an email that basically says, hey, I am opening the doors to my new course, such and such, you know, thing. What, what it's called. And that email is basically letting people know it's open and here's what it does. And in day two, day three, day four of this five-day launch sequence, I'm going to do a number of different things. Between one email might be sharing testimonials of people who are in the course. One email might be a basic like repeat of the sales page, which we're looking at a sales page tomorrow. So I'll show you exactly what needs to be on the sales page there. But it might be an email that kind of walks through a basic sequence of what's on the sales page. One day might be like busting some myths. So in other words, it might be something where I say, hey, you believe this about this problem, but this is actually true. And some people believe this, but this is actually true. And my course solves that problem because it you know, bust the myths. Or you might have tried, you, you might feel like you've tried everything before and nothing will work. Here's why I'm, my course will work. I might do a email on the bonuses, like honing specifically in on the bonuses that my course has to really show the value of it. So days, day one is introducing the course. Day two, three, and four is like really, really honing in from as many different angles as I can on the value that the course delivers. Here's what it's done for other people, testimonials, social proof. Here's, here's like the added value that it has, bonuses. Here's everything it does, right? Sales page, right? Something along those lines, one a day, every day. They're not gonna open every email, nobody does, but they're seeing this every day for these you know four days. Day five is when I'm closing down the course. And this is really important because when you open the course up on launch week, you want to tell people that it's only going to be open for a certain amount of time. So only be open for five days because without urgency, people don't make decisions. People need like the deadlines drive decisions. And so on that first day, you say, hey, it's open and it closes on Friday, 1159 p.m. So get it by then. Day two, you know, here, here's what all these people have said about it. By the way, if it's your first course ever and you don't have testimonials, find testimonials of people who have praised your teaching as long as it's related to the course. And you might say something like, when I've taught 
this type of material before, or when I've taught these concepts before, here's what people have had to say about it. Then once people have been in the course, now you have proper testimonials for that course. And you can say this person went through this course and here's what they said. So there's, there's, if you're asking that question, but every day you're saying, Hey, it closes on Friday, closes on Friday, closes on Friday. When you get to Friday, you're going to send three emails. I know this sounds like a lot, but this is why you condense it into one week and then you leave people alone for a little bit after it's over. So day on day on day five, Friday, come out in the morning, say, Hey, this is the last day. And on this day, you're going to recap all of the value that's in the course. And by the way, in each email, in every email, you want to send people to the sales page. That's every link is to the sales page because that's where they actually buy. They don't buy from the email. There's not a button to buy in the email. You're taking them to the sales page and that's where the whole process takes over. We'll look at sales pages tomorrow in day 22. So first email in the morning is like a recap of everything. Hey, it closes tonight. You got to buy. Then in the afternoon, you're going to do a courtesy reminder. Hey, it closes in about 18 hours. I just want you to know. And then at like 10 PM, I do like a last chance email where it's like, hey, just going to keep this really short. Only a couple hours left to purchase this amazing course. If you if you want in, now is the time. Anytime I've ever launched a course, half of my sales come in on the very last day. And half of those come in in the very last two hours. So that just, to me, shows the importance of urgency. If you want a really, really good kind of synopsis uh, and more detail into a six email plan, I gave you a five, but if you want a six email plan, check out this video here. It will help you walk through that. So between pre-launch and launch week, that's really the plan for it. Now tomorrow, like I said, we'll look at sales pages. If you want to have a full picture of what your online business looks like and how courses and launching courses fits into it, Go to my workshop, lanesebring.com slash workshop. This is my turn what you know into dough workshop where I'm going to show you how to make your first $1,000 per month consistently in passive income in your spare time. lanesebring.com slash workshop. Free on demand. You can watch it right now. All right. Go join Kajabi if you haven't yet. Set up your plan for your pre-launch and your launch week. Tomorrow we'll look at sales pages. I'll see you then.